let's talk about saving big at the grocery store. Now, the most important thing is to choose where to shop based on what's on sale each week. Then before you go to the store, make a meal plan that includes those sale items. This will help limit impulse buys. Next, know your store's coupon policy. Do they double or triple coupons? If so, how many are allowed? Costco doesn't take manufacturer coupons, but Dollar Tree just recently began accepting them. Target allows you to stack a manufacturer coupon along with their own store coupons, and Walmart allows for overage, which is basically cash back applied to your total purchase. They also price match competitor ads and accept competitor coupons. Kroger and Tom Thumb, which is a Safeway affiliate, let you load digital coupons directly to your store loyalty card. How easy is that? Remember, when using a coupon, it's always best to buy the smallest size item because your per unit price or cost per ounce will be less. So don't be afraid to pull out your calculator and do some math while standing in the store. It will be worth the effort. Also, here's another tip. If you buy those large bags of apples and potatoes and grapefruits, by law, each bag must contain at least the advertised weight. Now, the big secret is that growers will throw in an extra item to avoid being underweight. So just weigh a couple of bags and pick the heaviest one for the best deal. For more tips and tricks and the latest money-saving deals, visit CouponCrazyMommy.com. I'm Natalie Reed, and this has been your Money Saving Moment.